Hey there YouTube, it's Ganchi Rebecca. I'm here at the end of July and you know what that means? It's time to create my uh, August planning insert for my Traveler's Notebook bullet journal. I'm going to be showing you the whole process from setup through decoration um, of how I actually make these for myself. So uh, let's get started here. I'm using this paper here. This is the Rhodia dot pad. It's really nice smooth paper and if my calculations are correct I need 13 of these sheets. <laughs> so that was a mess. Fortunately I'm going to be trimming this down so that doesn't matter. All right, so that's all the paper I need. And I actually find it easiest to cut it down in one dimension uh, with my paper cutter first. So I'm gonna be cutting this to be the six and uh, three quarter inches that the uh, notebook is tall. And then this piece of scrapbook paper is going to be my cover. The reason I'm cutting things uh, this the way I'm cutting them is because I want these uh, stripes to be vertical when it's folded. So I'm making these six and three quarter inches go this way. Sorry about my squeaky chair. So this is everything here. Top and bottom are all the same length, or at least close enough that I you can't really tell. Everything here, I think the Rhodia dot pad, it's somewhere between letter size and uh, A4, I'm not exactly sure. It's not exactly the same width as the paper. If you kind of notice here, I have everything flush on the right side, it's off camera. Uh, can see that the left side here it's just a little bit longer at uh, the letter size but it doesn't matter because we're just folding it in half but because of that difference I'm gonna go ahead and fold the paper in the middle together and then I'll fold the scrapbook paper around it I just want to make sure that these edges line up at the ends and then we'll just sort of match that down I'm not gonna like uh, get it super sharp until I have this on there so that it all fits nicely together. But I'll sort of fold this lightly too. And then we'll put the cover on. Everything is good and in place. And I'm not going to be stapling these. I did that last month, or what I did last month was I didn't staple them. Um, and it works fine. I'm going to staple it when I pull my July insert out, but it is not currently stapled. It's currently just being held together by the elastic in my Chic Sparrow. I'm just using the, uh, the end of this box cutter is sort of a uh, rounded size and just make sure that it's moving smoothly. Like if it starts to dig, kind of maybe let up and move, use a different part of it. But I'm using this as like a bone folder. So that everything is nicely folded. So this is already the correct height, but now we want it to be the correct width. And see this cutting mat, I was using a cutting board until um, 
just this month. Like last month I was using just a wooden cutting board. You can use whatever, just don't use your desk surface, but a cutting board works fine. Um, but I, uh, my husband got this cutting mat for his own purposes and so uh, he's letting me borrow it. This is nice. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure because I think this cutting mat only has markings every half inch. Yeah. So I'm going to measure my three and three quarters inches wide. And seeing as this is striped, it should be uh, pretty, not too bad to cut. It'll just be all in the blue stripe here. Three and three quarters inches in two places. Go. Those look correct. And so I'm going to actually stand up here. So I can get a little bit of leverage, but you don't want to push too hard. That's something that I learned from Carrie Harling over at uh, Dispatches from the Frat House. I love her YouTube channel. She did a video where she showed how she makes her. Uh, DIY fish inserts and she pointed out that the blade is sharp you don't need to push really hard it's just a really light hand and things just come right up so you just you might have to do some extra strokes if you're not pushing really hard but it's a lot easier on your wrist and it's just gonna make things a lot smoother overall anyway you won't get as much tearing and so you do, you just line it up with the ruler. I find a metal ruler works a lot better than a plastic one because with a plastic one, you're likely to cut up the edge of your ruler and then it's not gonna be much use for you as a straight edge from then on. Um, but the metal just holds up very well. You can use a box cutter, you can use a craft knife. I've seen people using like a rotary cutter, like you have a, a rotary cutter for your quilting and you just get a dedicated blade that's just for paper because you're not obviously gonna wanna use the same one. Ruin your good, uh, quilting rotary cutter by cutting paper with it. It's blasphemy. I just have this box cutter handy and working my way through 28 layers of paper here. Very nice and gently. I decided how many pieces of paper I needed because I, I know how I like to do my weekly layouts. I need five uh, two-page spreads per week because I like to do a day per page. Um, if you're doing a more traditional like daily style bullet journaling where you don't maybe have that weekly page or you don't set up your days in advance, then you might uh, want to just have extra pages in there in case you need them or fewer than I, I have in here because you, you know, do more than one day per page. But really that's uh, up to what you know you want. Also, you don't have to do a whole insert for just one month. You can, uh, you know, fill up your notebooks as you go, get as many pages as folds nicely for you, and then just replace it when you need to. So this next step is like the most optional of all. I really like my rounded corners. I got this corner rounder from uh, Hobby Lobby. It was probably like, five, six bucks. I think I had a coupon, so it was like super cheap. But I'm gonna go through and, oh dear. I'm gonna go through and round all of these corners.
Okay. Thank you for your patience. Hope you enjoyed that music. Kevin McLeod is my jam. So we've got the whole booklet set. Like I said, I'm not going to be stapling this. So um, this is just how it's going to be for, uh, you know, it'll be kind of falling apart, but it's not a big deal. So we've got this dot grid uh, that's from the Rhodia dot pad. You can also, of course, do this with stuff that you print at home. Again, Kevin McLeod is my jam. Link below in Competech.com. Um, so let's actually make ourselves a calendar. That's the first step. Uh, let's, let me show you the pens and stuff I'm going to be using here. So I've got my three pack of uh, microns. I have the 05 here. I think I'll be doing for the outlines. The 01 I might do for some detail stuff. And this one is fun because it's like a super retro Pigma. I do have the, the 03 that came with these two, but this is one that my husband found in his like junk drawer and he's like you use these right and it still works like whenever this was the uh the packaging anyway so i think that's fun but there's paper microns um this is a zebra mild liner it's i forget what it's called but it comes from that pack that has the brown and the um sort of sunflower yellow i bought it individually off jet pens it's actually cheaper on jet pens to buy them separately so i toss these in when i need uh, a little bit more on my order to get free shipping um, this is going to be the theme color for the month. It's a nice teal um, and so to go with that I actually have two different Stabilo fine liners. This is the 0.88. This is the colors uh, 53 and 13. And they go pretty well with this. Uh, then I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. I've got my gray mild liner, which I use in my uh, collections inserts all the time. I probably won't be using it, but it's here. Uh, I picked up one of these Uniball Signo white pens. I don't have any plans to use it, but it's here in case I need it. Um, I have my Tombow. This is just the um, the brush pen, uh, uh, what's it called? Colorless blender. I'm not sure if I'm going to be trying to do anything artsy like that, but I have it here just in case I want it. And then the magic happens with this friction retractable. This is the um, 05, so it's the Japanese import. Uh, they sell these refills on jet pens as well, but in, if you want to get them from like Staples, you have to get the 07. I prefer the finer point. I was using a uh, Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen uh, until recently. It started to leak on me a lot and it just started to get too much and I was missing the erasable uh, you know, convenience of having the friction. So I've, I've actually gone back to this. I think I'm going to use this for a month or so and then maybe I'll want to get fancy again and start using the fountain pen. But uh, for now, the Rhodia, it, I bought it because of the fountain pen use, but also it's really good for the friction as well because the smooth paper is easier to erase off than textured paper. So I'm going to make a uh, calendar on this first spread. The only tricky thing about not binding is that uh, sometimes things do kind of slip around and I want to make sure I know how many dots I have on either side of the fold. I'm doing this all live guys. I have not pre-written out anything so we're going to be counting with me. Seventeen dots across. So divided by four, that's sixteen. So they're going to be the boxes are going to be four squares wide. Thirty-three. So I guess thirty-two uh, divided. No, no, because there's five rows. So it's going to be thirty divided by five is six. So it'll be six boxes tall. So if it's I see 33, so that means that there's going to be one, one box on the top and two at the bottom, right? So okay, good. This is just the friction; it's erasable. So that's why I'm using it. I do have a pen or a pencil around here somewhere. So the month starts on a Monday, or it starts on a Tuesday, and it ends on a Thursday. 
So I think I'll put the four days on this side. So Monday through Thursday. And then I'll have this space here for the month name. And then a column along the right for just some decoration. So. Smudging stuff. So this little guy is the ruler straight edge that I keep around in my planner with me for on-go decorations purposes. Last month I did not use a straight edge and it bothered me a lot more than I thought it would. So here I'm going to set this to the side and just do this one page. Because I'm going to have, right? This whole page is full except for the top corner. So very carefully, I'm gonna do all of these lines correctly. And I do really like having my weekends together at the end of the month, or at the end of the calendar. Um, just I don't know. It doesn't make as much sense to me because I am actually used to having it the other way where you have the weekends on the ends, like visually with the calendar. But um, when I go out of town, I like to use washi tape to designate that and I'm always out of town like over a weekend. So having one cohesive piece of washi tape, <laughs> it's the weirdest reasons that we choose what we do, right? I'm using the 05 for this, by the way, so I have the, uh, the bold line for these outlines. You might notice me being really careful and lifting the ruler, and I wipe it, the edge with my finger. There's a little bit of ink on there. It's not that much, but I am kind of gun shy about smearing. You know, it only takes a few cases where you get a smear in there and then every time you open the page that's all you see is just that smear and you're reminded of your failure. And yes, I'm being a little facetious, but not that much. And that's why I always move my ruler from the top down so that I have time for this to dry while I've moved my ruler down. Actually, I'm this is new. Well, I over cautiously let that dry. We'll go ahead and clean out just the next sheet of this one, and we're gonna do the other half of the calendar here. So I don't need this last out at the bottom. This is why I use my erasable pen. So this is only gonna be four. side one it should be dry by now so these little boxes are uh, very small really not great for much except just sort of visualizing them up I'll put appointments on here because I, I know where I'm going to be out of town I write my video publishing dates on here so that I know what's coming up. And I do try to check back with this page, if not every day, at least every couple of days or every week, when I make up my weekly spread. Okay. Put things 
back together here a little bit. We have our monthly spread. There it is. It's a grid and everything. All right. So I'm going to add the dates using the 01. But first, and this is super overkill, but I was watching a video by um, Mary Plethora. She does these really gorgeous minimalist sort of designs with like super sharp corners, black and white outlines, and she uses just a little pop of color. And I saw this um, this trick that she used, and it is definitely overkill, but I kind of want to see if it works. And what she did was she actually blocked off the areas that she was going to put like a highlighter on, and then um, like made sort of a, a stencil, I guess, for her uh, her highlight. So I'm gonna actually do that and see. Like, if there is really that much benefit to it to justify all of the extra effort. So bear with me. I don't think I have to be worried about the edges uh, on either side here. But let's just go ahead and see how this looks. I still so miss the edge there. Okay, there we go. It's not worth it. But now that I've started it, <laughs> I have to do the rest. <laughs> so, fortunately for you, you get to fast forward through this part. was way more trouble than it was worth. To be fair, I guess way more trouble than it was worth is kind of a theme with some people's bullet journals. But honestly, I kind of like the look of this um, better when I don't do that and it's a little bit more sloppy. Just because where it overlaps, there's like extra ink there and it's just, eh. It's all right, it looks fine. It doesn't look bad, it's just not worth all that effort. So I would not recommend that method to you unless you're like, into wasting time. Some people are. All right, let's grab this 01. Uh, let's see. 01. Does this happen to anyone else that like the ink just rubs off the micron and the top here too is so, like you can't tell there anymore. You have to look here. It's 01. Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. All right. Let's add some dates, guys. Honestly, I think the reason I put the stripe at the top, besides the colors theme and all that, is um, it kind of makes the boxes look less super long and tall and skinny uh, because now basically the amount of space I write in is 5x4 instead of 6x4. 
All right, so one tiny bit of preparation I did before this was I actually printed this out. Um, what I do is I find fonts on like those free font websites, you know? And then I just take a screenshot of the, um, the preview actually, and then just print it out on a sticky note. You can do it on normal paper, but printing it on a sticky is not that hard. You can Google it. Um, and so this is gonna be my header. I say header, I mean it is on the foot, but you know. Actually, the thing about this, now that I think about it, is that it is so sticky on the wrong side. So, okay. I'm gonna set it here, stick it to the mat, and then keep this steady while I work. Mm, roughly level and centered ish. You probably cannot see it uh, through here at all, actually. Oh, just messed it up again. You probably can't see it through here at all, but I can see it just well enough to trace it. And that way you end up with a cool header without having to like learn how to hand letter a new font. All right, so I'm gonna hold that really still. And then grab this pen. This is my Stedler. It's the I'm sorry, not Stedler. I don't want Stedlers. The Stabilo. Uh, and again, this is color 53. So I'm gonna trace this. You see my head in frame. Sorry. Okay, there we go. And that is basically our monthly spread. Our monthly calendar. Got our header, sort of, at the bottom. We're gonna keep it simple. Yeah, maybe I'll get bored and I'll color it in later, but for now this is what it looks like. And I don't have any trips planned yet, so this is gonna stay pretty much like this until I start entering like appointments and things, but that's not interesting. So I will leave that for another time. All right, next up, this is the spread that everybody who has watched any of my plan with me knows pretty much stays the same. I put my 4G tracker and my um, debit card transactions tracker right there. Uh, and the only thing that's tricky about that in this case is that my 4G allotment just keeps going up because Cricut's like, yeah, okay, sure, have some. Um, so we're now at the point where I have four gigabytes of high speed data and 33 dots down. So I think I'm gonna just have to make it 20 dots and each dot equals two tenths of a gigabyte. Last month I got around it by just keeping track of the data I was planning to use until Comic-Con and then just having a free-for-all after that. This way, let's see, I want my header to be right here, or Alright, so there's my 4G tracker and each of these five dot or five square sections is gonna be for one full gigabyte. So maybe I'll just fill it in less often. Or just use data faster. That sounds like a better plan. I keep explaining this, but basically our uh, bank gives us extra interest or a better interest rate if we make 10 transactions with our debit card each month. 
So I just like to keep track of how many we've made so that I can know like, oh, we really need to just like use our debit card for gas. Um, even though you get rewards with the credit card. never does but then when it does you're like why why didn't I spend a couple seconds blowing right I'm not alone in this am I I'm not the only crazy one my uh, ruler after every line. All of that could be smeared all over my pages if I weren't being so OCD about it. Okay. Uh, just a little bit splash of color here. And I'm gonna go back with washi tape and stickers. Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna put something important here or not. But over on this page is my like master monthly to-do list, which um, last month was just like one list. It said to do this month and then there's stuff on it. Um, it is stuff that like I don't want to do, so it isn't really getting done. <laughs> um, like I said in I think a different video, like my monthly to-do list is basically my like don't forget about this, but also like you kind of have permission to ignore it list. Um, but I think this month, I really do like having up front, like I like planning my weeks just like one at a time, my days just a couple days in advance. Um, I think it kind of keeps the spreads fresh, like I'm more interested in a newly decorated spread than one that's sort of been sitting there the whole time. And also like it takes a whole chunk of time to decorate one spread, uh, or to decorate like a whole book. But if you're only doing one at a time, oh gosh. I just realized that I had like taken this out and I was about to put this page way back in the back. That would have been bad. Um, anyway, what was I saying? That I, I like to decorate my pages and like set up my weeks and stuff just a couple days in advance. So if I have something that I need to get done in like the third week of the month, then I kind of put it here. I can add a date, but like I kind of would like to go back to the way I used to have things where I have like a weekly to-do list. So I'm thinking of setting up boxes here. They're gonna be like, it's a nice thing I have flat paper. I can be really, okay, okay. How many dots do I have? some reason 18 dots on this spread instead of 17. I guess I have the same here, but it's like really close to the edge, but also like I can see the dots. So I think I will just sort of make a grid. Sorry about the puppy. He uh, is just sad always. He's a sad husky. So then we've got, let me double check, always count twice, yeah, measure twice, cut once, count twice, and uh, ink once. That is our motto. I have 
three, four, there's five, pretty much five full weeks. So it needs to be at least three tall. Nine times three is 20, something 27. All right, that'll be fine. So before I finish drawing these lines, I'm thinking, so I'll have just this little corner here, because, so we've got one, two, three, four, five weeks, and we're gonna put like the dates for each week there in my weekly to-do list. And then this section up here will be for like general, like doesn't have a specific week it needs to get done, monthly tasks. And then this box up here um, needs something decorative. So. I want something that's gonna fit in the corner here. Could I fit this guy? Yeah, I really just like, I like these new stickers I got and I wanna use them. So I'm gonna use this little penguin with the suitcase. He's gonna go up here in the corner. Is that right? Does that fit? I don't really have anything that's, that fit better. Right. I'm gonna go here in the corner. There we go. And then, then we're good. Did I get ink and paper? I might have. Okay. So now we just have a little bit of the line to put here instead of drawing it all the way. And then just placing my pens. So you know you're enjoying yourself when you're crafting is because your workspace gets super messy. See, I did get a little bit of this ink on the sticker, I think, but it's not a big deal. You can barely notice, right? All right, okay. Just a little bit in the corner here that I can add and that makes it look super professional. Like that. down here. Is that right? Oh no, not yet. I'm gonna add another, I'm gonna add another box for my one to do item for like my monthly goal. My monthly goal that if I get this done, I will consider myself to be a productive human being is um, <laughs> I'm going to finally bring in my car for its airbag recall. Oh my goodness. These little stickers are so cute. There we go. So these little guys are called Penguin and Peep uh, from penguinandpeep.com. And then this little box is where I will keep track of like the running tasks. So first is schedule. That's the biggest step because it involves picking up the phone. And then once that's done and I know what the next step is, I'll write the next step.
Okay, so this is where monthly or like weekly tasks will go. And whenever I think of something like tithe checks, I have to do tithe checks the last weeks of the month so that I have our checks when we go to mass. And I know I have to do it then. I don't have to put it in my planner now and keep migrating it for a whole month. I'll just stick it here. And then every week, I just, I know exactly where to go. All right, this is looking good. I like this, I like this a lot. Man, all right, I have to stop looking at it now because otherwise I could just sit here and go, oh, how nice. All right, this space here, before I move on and I'm gonna forget, needs something. It needs washi tape in a bad way because that is what it's for, right? I am not the kind of person that can split a Wednesday down the middle of my planner. That would drive me nuts. So I do it uneven and then I have room for washi tape. And this matches so nicely. I really love these poppies. This is from Michaels. Just a little bit. There we go. Um, I don't think these are big enough up there. I don't know if I want to put, no, I'm not going to put one cupcake. Um, should I? Yeah, okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to tear this diagonally. And I'm going to put it here so that it overlaps in a very artistic way. And if you had to ask me, maybe I would say it represents the fact that uh, that Monday is in a different monthly spread, but it will take be taking place in this planner. And then I need to find a pair of scissors. I'm normally a washi ripper because I like the look of ripped washi, but. Okay, there we go. Doesn't that look good? That looks good, right? It's like all floral and summery, maybe. Man, I'm really liking how this is turning out. See, I'm as surprised as you are, guys. This looks good. <laughs> and then here we've got our penguins. And then the next spread, we will go straight into our first week. So this week, this first week of August is going to be exam week on my Hogwarts and in order to remember which week it is on my Hogwarts I read that as my like week header some people number their weeks by like you know their official week of the year because they do that at work or whatever I I revive all of my life around my Hogwarts so I'm not really changing anything this is what um this week looks like. I'm gonna show you my July insert um, next week once it's full. Like, so for this week in my calendar, I'm gonna show you July, um, cause I'm still, I'm still finishing it up as we speak. Uh, but this is what my spread sort of looks like for the week. So we've got these six uh, five by five boxes. This one's split in half because I enjoy symmetry. I'm gonna put both the, uh, the day of the week and the date. Like that. I 
and so uh, here I mean maybe it's redundant I don't know um, well not really I will add anything up here that might go here as far as appointments because this is more present I'm on this page every day whereas here I might only be on this page like once a week um, so yeah I do put like appointments that I have and things like that uh, I also have been putting at the top I'll put in like a color um, I'll put the video that I'm that's going out that day and then on the bottom of the box in friction uh, erasable I will put like the project that I'm planning on working on that evening because basically I come home from work and I like to get something done every day before I just sort of veg in front of either the TV or a computer game um, so it's usually sometimes it's like cleaning the bathroom but sometimes it's like editing a video so like on this week's um, I have you know the, the videos that I'm filming I'm shooting my uh, comic-con planner or my comic-con haul uh, which is gonna be coming up I think that's gonna be released on Saturday so I don't think that's up by the time you see this but uh, look out for that I'm gonna show in more detail everything that I got at San Diego um, and it also has, of course, like, today, it shows that I'm filming this video. Um, it just kind of helps me to have, like, my week planned out, like, when I'm going to be able to get stuff done and have a space to put that. Um, so this side of the page is for projects, and this side of the page is for to-dos. Projects are, again, usually videos, um, different things that I'm filming and editing and I'll put like all the different steps under each one so that's why it takes up a whole half of the page and then this page is like you know call so-and-so or buy groceries or whatever so I think there's room for a little bit of does that fit oh not quite all right let's find a good washi tape to go over here Ooh, blue this is my favorite washi tape currently you know how it goes like you go through phases but I got this from Simply Gilded on Etsy and I'm just a really big fan of astronomy and I just find this so gorgeous I was using it a lot last month even though it was red for July with my color theme but it worked really well for like the um, the week of and the week after uh, the 4th of July. It looked really good with my uh, red gingham washi as kind of the stars and stripes. So I'll just put a little bit of washi there to kind of decorate. So we give it color. Actually, it's gonna be too much, but another strip of just the same stuff at the bottom here. Maybe it's too much, but can we ever really have too many constellations? I submit to you that we cannot. Alright, so there is some washi tape to sort of give it some color, just a little bit. I do uh, tend to keep things pretty simple in here. So, like a splash of color over here. Some Lots of... Uh, Grading and stuff to do on each side of good. And then over here it says to do. What I'm doing here when you see me counting across, by the way, so I'm gonna uh, do this out loud. D O space D O. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 6 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I spell it out. This is just how I've been doing my headers since I moved into a travel shop at the beginning of the year. I really love these zebra mild liners. And I don't need a header for my projects because they do okay on their own. And then I'm going to put a tracker down here at the bottom. Um, again, I'm meticulous with my ruler, so bear with me and I'm going to fast forward through that.
that's my tracker. That's what my weekly tracker looks like. I think I find that I work really well with a weekly tracker rather than like a monthly one. The monthly one is too easy to ignore and it's super easy to get into like a, oh well I missed one day, maybe I missed two days, and then like maybe I just stopped for the whole month. Um, but weekly is a good like refresh period for me to decide like, okay well this week I really, I feel like I'm doing fine with this habit, I don't really need to track anything. But it's not too many habits, it's um, these shapes are the same shapes that I've been using since way back in like January when I was doing those little um, decorative daily trackers. Um, so I just keep using the same circles because they mean something to me now, the same shapes. They mean something to me now so it's like shorthand instead of having to write out, make bed, take vitamin, do something productive, and say your bedtime prayers. It's just shorthand so I just fill in the bubble and I do it. Um, then these blocks here are for uh, tracking for my, um, basically taking notes for my NFP chart. Uh, if you know what NFP is, you probably know about how charting works. And instead of having to pull out the chart every day, I keep track of it here, and then I'll fill out the chart every so often. Um, this is for my bra washing spread, which I have shown in different videos. Uh, you could probably go look, I think it's in my, um, my master, like, January to May <coughs> uh, flip through video. And then this is where I keep track of my mood. Um, it's starting to outlive its usefulness, but um, I think I'll, I'll keep doing it because it's nice to have a place to sort of reflect on like how your day went um, and being forced to write down at least one word about how you feel that day. Um, it's, it's not unuseful. Anyway, so this is my weekly spread. I probably will not set up my Monday until like the weekend because I don't, I don't know, I, I'll decide how I feel about it um, over the weekend, how I want my Monday to look. Um, but basically, yeah, this is my setup. This is how I make my inserts. I'll just now, you know, flip to the middle and I'll insert this under the uh, elastic in my cheek sparrow. And this will just be happily in place for the month. And then when I take it out, I'll staple it. But for the meantime, it's in case I decide I need extra paper or less paper, I can remove it or, you know, replace it. And uh, here's the whole thing. So thank you guys for helping me out with this. I know that you were rooting for me uh, to succeed and that really came through. So thank you. Um, <laughs> there's the monthly spread. I will be filling this out with my various tasks and appointments, though I don't think I have that much going on right now. Fortunately, July was a busy month and August is going to be a little bit more chill. Um, and I really like how this turned out. I've got my weekly to-do lists, a couple really adorable penguins, no wasted space except for decoration, which is good. And then my weekly blues, nice and relaxing. Just looking at this color blue is making me calm and zen about the idea of August. Um, it's like the last month I have before our fall obligations kick in, which is confirmation. Um, and so that starts up in like September, October, and so we also have Bible study that's starting up again, and so we'll only have like a few days a week that we're like at home. Um, I can't promise that my video production rate won't suffer as a result, but in the meantime I have all of August here to sort of have to myself and getting projects done and stuff. So. Hopefully that, that car recall, that'll be important because I don't want to die in a car crash. All right, thank you all for tuning in. If you watched through this whole thing, you are my best friend and I love you. You should subscribe so that you can see the next time I post a video. Um, the next video I think is going to be that, um, that haul video I think I'm going to post this weekend. And then I have another Sims video coming up if you're into the Sims at all. I've been doing a playthrough of that. And then um, another planner video next Thursday will be a flip through of my July insert. So it's this thing, but for July you'll get to see what I did. I switched some things up, did things a little bit differently. It's definitely a different aesthetic than my previous months. So um, looking forward to showing you that once it's full. And in the meantime, you guys have a fantastic time. Uh, enjoy the next video you're watching, wherever that is. We all love YouTube, don't we? Okay, you have a good one. Thank you. Subscribe, like. I've said it all. Love you guys. Bye.